Hello, everyone. My name is Yuki. I am a technical marketing engineer at Anthropology. And in today's NTOP Live, I'm going to talk about implicit, implicit modeling, and implicit geometry. So what is implicit? Implicit modeling is a unique and lightweight way of representing three-dimensional objects using a single mathematical function to describe a solid body. Um, at Anthropology, implicit is our native format because it is a powerful way to define, change, and represent 3D geometry. And like most traditional CAD tools, geometry is defined through a network of vertices, edges, and faces like meshes and BREPs. But with anthropology, geometry is defined through equations. So what does that mean? It means that implicits are significantly lighter to compute and maintain their pure form because they are not discretized like meshes and BREPs, which don't have to capture continuity perfectly. So for example, Mesh geometry, regardless of its resolution, is a faceted representation of the actual form. And at some point in the design to manufacturing pipeline, some form of discretization will be required, whether it's through meshes, BREPs, or producing slice data for manufacturing. And by discretizing data from implicit models directly to a manufacturing ready output, the discretization occurs at the very end of the process rather than at the beginning or throughout. So this means that outgoing manufacturing data is more precise. In addition to being orders of magnitude faster to compute, implicit geometry also results in super lightweight files as only a minimal amount of information is needed. So yeah, I pretty much deep dive into what implicits are, but let me show you some of the things you can do at Anthropology using implicits. I'm going to show you why implicits are so powerful. So this is a simple 10 by 10 by 10 cube. And I want to infill this with some gyroids. So I took this TPMS block. I'm going to nest these blocks together. And by simply doing that, I have created a thousand gyroids inside of my cube within 26 milliseconds. Now, what if I wanted to change the size of this? So now I change this to 100 millimeters. And just like that, in a matter of 23 milliseconds, I have created 1 million gyroids inside of this cube. So now this cube isn't so simple anymore because now it has a lot of TPMS gyroids inside of my cube. So this is what's really, really unique about implicit that you can create really complex geometries very quickly. And not only that, the file size for between these two, so the 1,000 TPMS unit cells and the 1 million TPMS unit cells, I created two separate NTOF files, and these both land at 7 kilobytes in terms of file size. So it's super light and super complex at the same time. And normally, if you were to do this in a normal CAD tool, this would take very long and the file sizes would be a lot bigger. Let's move on to the impeller. So I have this impeller, and this was originally made in CAD. You can see all their faces, edges, and even their vertices. But I'm going to convert this into an implicit because this is our native format. And also, while in the state, we can do a lot more complex things with it. So what I want to do is this impeller. I want to shell it and also infill it with some lattices, which I have already done over here. You will notice that there's a very nice shell around our part. And on top of that, we have some nice diamond lattice structures infilled in our impeller. Let's talk about the shell first. So I'm going to turn on this field of the solid impeller onto our shelled impeller. So if we take a look at our contour interval, I'm going to change this to something like 0.2 millimeters. You'll see these lines correspond to the distance, 0.2 millimeters from the boundary. So if I'm going to shell this impeller at 0.2 millimeters, it's going to line up with that contour interval. Um, implicit models intrinsically have this data, essentially our sine distance field, and can easily shell any geometry. So now taking a look at this lattice inside of our impeller, this isn't something you can easily do when you're working with your traditional CAD tools. And most likely it might fail even trying to create this. But with anthropology, because we use implicits, we can easily create these lattice within a matter of seconds. So right now it's set at diamond, my unit type. But if I wanted to change it to maybe like something like body center cubic, I can easily change that. It'll run through my entire workflow that I have created. And within a matter of seconds, it will update itself and create. And now my lattice inside here are all body center cubic. So yeah, this is what implicits are capable of. In this case, you can shell very quickly and precisely and also change lattice types and create that new geometry because we're working with implicits and can compute all these things very quickly. 
Lastly, we're going to take a look at this robot arm assembly that I have, um, specifically this bracket over here. So I'm going to isolate that part and zoom in. And what I want to do is create a nice conformal lattice between these two faces. And also, I want to blend the lattice into the frame. So after converting all my CAD parts into an implicit and doing the following, I have created a nice conformal lattice between those two faces. And on top of that, I have my lattice meeting the frame, but I haven't blended it yet. So let's say I want to change this blend radius to two millimeters. And by just simply changing that value, I get a nice two millimeter blend between my lattice and the frame very, very quickly because we are using implicits. Now, we end topology is an unbreakable geometry, and this is what I mean. So let's say currently it's at two millimeters, but what if I accidentally add an extra two in there? Maybe I clicked it twice. And as quick as putting those values in, I now have a 22 millimeter blend radius between my lattice and the frame. So this is what's really cool about implicits is that we it will not break. We will not give you an error over here. It is going to give you a result no matter what. So I guess 30 is going to fill up the whole thing, but we will give you something no matter what and see how fast it updates itself. It does it very quickly because we are using implicits and these files are super light. And also we don't do any discretization in the beginning. It's all done at the end. Therefore, it doesn't have to capture the continuity perfectly. I hope you had a good understanding of what implicits are. I've done a couple of explanations in the beginning and showed you a couple of examples. And feel free to, re feel free to reach us out if you have any other questions. If you're curious about anything at End Topology, set up a few minutes with us and a demo to get your questions answered. Go to endtopology.com, click on Get a Demo, and simply fill out the form to speak with an Entop expert. If you're an existing user and want to dig deeper, feel free to check out support.entopology.com to access our help center.